out, you boss wife. On the appearance of the boss, and I'm really pleased with the ears that are back on there looking lovely. Now, whoa. I need to buy a tractor. Oh, no! I'm so sorry about all these strange things that are happening, but basically I've been diagnosed with a condition called Tractus Insania, and everything I do, touch, smell, see, hear, and or drive has to be tractor related. So um, I went out and bought a tractor, local, cheap, thought it was all right, got it back to the barn, turns out it's not so good. So I am gonna have to do some work on it. And here she is, my Ferguson tractor from 1950. I'm warning you, it's not for the purist. Uh, there's a lot of bits on this tractor that shouldn't be on there. And also the engine should actually be a TVO engine, even though this has a diesel 23C engine, which you would have found in a little lorry like this, or a later model tractor like this. Now that's a good upgrade, but the problem is this particular engine has more oil and diesel on the outside than it should have on the inside. So that needs to be looked at. It runs and drives-ish, and I've not tested any of the other feature like the hydraulics, and there are also other problems. One of the wheels on the tractor has seen better days, and this is actually where they go, right from the outer lip. That centerpiece is good as new, right? But this outside is really buggered. So I went online and I found another wheel. This one looks rough, but it is good. Right, job number one, fix the oil leaks. It took a minute, but the gasket has finally arrived, and that was actually the main cause of all the oil leaks. Even though you're never going to be able to see it because the fuel tank lives on top of it, I have cleaned up the rocker cover, and I've also put the new gasket in there, and I'm about to button it up. New hoses, new clips, new hoses, new clips. And it's at this point I make the biggest mistake of all. I buy some paint, because you know what it's like. I'll do one corner, and then I'll want to do the whole lot. I blame Tractus Insania. Oh, yeah. So just trying a little bit of paint on the engine block, and my god, what a difference. Don't be fooled, this all looks really dirty, but I've absolutely scrubbed the living daylights out of it. So we're gonna just try and do the head first, see how it looks, and then carry right on! Woo! Right, uh, these are the steering arms, and I've got brand new track rods going in front and back. Woo! Let's see if they fit. My arms are absolutely aching, but the new track rod ends are on. Now, obviously, you've got to excuse all the dirt and mess in between. This is all going to get painted, but they are on, and they fit absolutely lovely. 
now you get to see the difference between an ugly side and a beautiful side. It is amazing what a tiny bit of paint will do, hey? So I'm halfway through painting the gearbox. I've just got to make sure that all this stuff is super clean before I stick paint on it. I'm going to do the dashboard at the same time. I've loosened the gauges. I've gotten rid of the steering wheel, so I've got a good access. Of course, I'm not going to paint on the original plaques, but I have removed the TVO uh, adjuster, which of course is out of use because this is no longer a TVO tractor. But I've taken it off, I'm going to clean it up, and I will stick it back. the next few days, my Tractus Insania condition does not get better. In fact, it gets even worse, and I continue to pull major components off of my tractor. So I'm pretty bored of looking at this horrible seat. It's not even the correct one, so I'm going to remove it and get rid of all this rusty old tat, and then we can paint the underneath. Oh, 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 it's big. Uh, don't be uh, fooled. This is a very, very big wheel. That is one bastard of a spider. And now that all the spiders are gone, I'm giving everything a good old rub down and a check up. And yes, it might be a bit grubby and a bit dirty, but I'm really pleased with, with it. Actually, everything is solid. This is all nice and solid. And uh, yeah, ready for some paint, baby.
After sanding, cleaning and painting, my face is absolutely covered in grey dust. Listen guys, it was never my intention to take this tractor as far as I have. It was going to be a quick clean up, a little bit of paint and then go have fun. But I have enjoyed it so much, I just, I can't stop. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's now Pete and his tractor. So I'm about to reinstall the fuel tank, uh, which goes right on top of the engine. Um, but of course we lose access to all of this top. So I just, I've been over it to check if everything's right, everything's correct. All the bits I still need to do that I can still get to them, like this, like the airbox and all that sort of stuff. This is all ready to go. So on goes the fuel tank. Whilst removing the old brass fuel tap, I actually snapped it, which is so annoying because it's a nice original piece. I was told by a lot of people that you would not be able to find one. But lo and behold, I have found another. Oh yeah! Right, I've got the new tap all fitted up on the tank and it is now ready to go onto El Tractor. At some point this has had a sort of extension put on it to fit a bigger battery. I would change it back to original but the battery we've got actually fits it nicely so I'm going to leave it as is and paint it up. So a quick update, the number plate is on, the rear diff has been painted, the new battery leads are installed, the whole rear transfer case and diff has all been painted. And now I'm going to sort out my three point linkage at the back. I declare this tractor fully taken to pieces. I have found out what the worst thing is to paint, and the answer is a chain. There's just so many bloody sides to it. The worst, the worst thing to paint. So one of the last things I had to sort out on the beautiful tractor is the seat. Uh, you've seen the rusty thing that came off it, it wasn't even the correct tractor. Uh, and it also had some cushion on there, which was horrible, so we got rid of all of that, and I want to put the original seat back. Now the seat itself is very easy to come by, but the spring that it sits on is not. It's quite expensive and I've kind of had a look around, but luckily through a friend I run into a chap called Jamie and he's got lots of tractors 
and he's local and he has sold me a nice original spring. So we're gonna clean this up a bit and then it's gonna go straight on there, wait till my seat turns up that I've ordered new and then I can actually sit on my tractor. Tractor madness, tractor madness. So I'm about to paint the rear wheels on the tractor, uh, but the problem I've got is that the tires that came with the tractor um, are both really good. They're only a couple of years old and they're Michelin's, and these tractor tires, the rear ones, are really expensive because they're massive. But as we all know, one of the rear wheels is completely buggered. So I bought the spare wheel online. Uh, the spare wheel is good, but the tire on it is called a Blue Peter, and it's a retread. <laughs> I don't want to run any vehicle on that tire so I haven't got the capabilities to swap tractor tires over so I'm taking all three wheels to a professional shop and we're gonna get the whole lot swapped over and by the time I come back I'll have two good wheels with two good tires The last time the engine on the tractor actually ran was the day I bought it and picked it up. It ran okay, but there was a lot of diesel everywhere and there was a lot of oil coming out of it. And also, this is nearly two months ago. And in that time, I've had all the hoses off, I've taken the fuel tank off, I've drained the radiator, I've replaced a load of the wiring and replaced lots of gaskets and grommets. So the question is, now that everything is back together, will it start? These little standard diesel engines will do huge amount of mileage and work, but they are known for being tricky to start if they've sat for a while or if it's really cold. I've added all the vital fluids, I've put the battery on charge, now let's see if I can get her going. Before I manage to start the engine, you get to see me make a massive mistake and prove once again that I'm a massive tit. When I painted the lever that operates the hydraulics on the back of the tractor, I moved it into the up position to get paint all round. Then I let it dry, and then I didn't put it back down. As I go to start the tractor, the hydraulics go, ooh, we should be in the up position and start moving up. And in that process, I completely destroy and ruin my stabilizer bars. It is not the end of the world, but it's a shame because I had just painted them. Now, will she start or not?
first turn. You do realize that, don't you? A quick check to make sure nothing is leaking, and here comes attempt number two. That evening, my tractor Sinsania condition worsens and I carry on into the night to get the tractor back onto four wheels.
with that done, I can actually move the tractor in position to get the wheels painted. Once the prep is complete, it's time to mask up, but due to the bad weather we've been having, my masking paper has all got damp and is useless. So in a last ditch attempt to finish the job on the day, I use bin liners to mask the wheels up. And then I do the classic peat maneuver and I start painting without a mask because I'm so excited about painting. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten the standard punishment. Yes, I did it again. And now for one of the last jobs of all of them. I've got to refurb the oil bath air filter. And yes, that is the oil that came out of it. Yummy. Oh my god, Compo, I had a dream that I was obsessed with tractors. And all I wanted to do was work on tractors. Oh my god, how stupid was that? Are you sure this was dream? What? Have you looked over there? So what's the real reason I did this tractor? Well, believe it or not, it has nothing to do with Tractus Insania. Do not tell Compo, he'll never talk to me again. The real reason is actually much closer related to my family. As young children, my sisters and I rode my grandfather's tractor on his estate. I have some really fond memories of that period because it was the first time I was able to really drive a motorized vehicle. But it wasn't
wasn't until recently that I met up with my nephew who is now the same age I was then. And he insisted on going to this particular playground because it has an old tractor sat in a corner. When I saw him sitting on it, pulling all the levers and yanking the steering wheel, it completely and utterly reminded me of those wonderful summers I spent running about on the family tractor. So I figured it's about time I relive my own youth and give the next generation a chance to have some fun too. And this is why we now have a lovely family tractor. So there we go, one tractor completely finished and lovely. Um, I hope you guys like the tractor content. I just thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Uh, from a personal point of view, it's been one of the most enjoyable little projects I've ever done. So easy to work on and so accessible and lovely. And yeah, so uh, I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, I was also gonna shoot a scene at the end with me driving it and then my nephew wanted to be on film driving it and then my nieces wanted to jump in. They all wanna come in and drive the tractor. Um, but sadly, because of their schedule, my schedule, and we've also had really bad weather, um, uh, it's not really been possible. We all also turned up here one morning and the tractor wouldn't start. <laughs> They are quite tricky to start. So anyway, the world's been sort of conspiring against us to get those shots done. So we promise that in a future episode of Pete and his Bus, we're all gonna get together and we're gonna show you the tractor in full action because everybody's loving it. Um, whilst I've got you here and before I go, remember guys, um, I've still got a few of the lovely Root Masters of the Universe books left. I've also got the stickers left and there are also a few more of these bad boys left, so make sure you check out the website and get your Pete and his bus stroke tractor merch. Um, thank you all so much for watching. This has been a really fun one for me. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time on Pete and his tra- Bus, bus. <laughs> <laughs>